Now I'm just going to quickly go through some water feature ideas for you. Um, I believe the best water features have fish in them because I hate water features without fish in them because a lot of them end up getting mozzies and I hate mozzies. Mosquito larvae in the um, water feature is my nightmare. Whereas you chuck a few fish and they eat all of the mosquito larvae, Bob's your uncle. So that's a little self-contained waterfall from Universal Rocks. Spectacular little feature for any backyard. Um, so if you're making yourself a water feature, you might want to decide whether it's going to be formal, which is straight, either round or square or formal looking, or natural. So informal is natural. So informal, informal, these ones are all formal. So it just depends what suits your backyard for whether you go for formal or informal. Um, next thing is if you are going to create a water feature, preferably an aquarium, pond, sorry, is to try and raise the edges. Make sure the edges are raised um, because what you don't want is the runoff from the backyard to go into your pond. So you don't want all the crap from your pond in, in your backyard ending up on your pond. So ensure that the um, edges are raised. These self-contained, these universal rock ones are great because they've got a nice big rim around the edge which stops crap from your backyard, fertilizers and everything else going in your pond, which is not a good thing. So um, all the best water features are always themed. So you might go for a modern theme, you might go for like a Japanese theme, you might go for like a native theme and another thing people are doing these days is converting their old swimming pools into ponds so they're turning it into a big natural oasis in their backyard with fish that they can actually swim in amongst now there's various types of ponds you can use as a water feature these ones are called flow ponds so let's say you've got a normal pond and you want to extend it you can just get a flow pond so the little flow pond could flow into the bigger flow pond and the bigger flow pond could flow into the main pond and it's a very easy way to add on to your existing pond even to the point where you can make it have the look of a wetland now cascades are also something very easy they can just clip straight onto the side of your pond and that lovely relaxing cascade sound will certainly add to your backyard and once again you can create this creek or river type look by just um, um, allowing the water to cascade. So waterfalls are an option. There's some beautiful waterfalls predominantly available by, uni by Universal Rocks which will just clip onto the side of your pond or your swimming pool for that matter and um, really allows your pond to become a three-dimensional feature as opposed to just a feature that you enjoy when you're above it. Next option are creeks. Um, you can make your own creek using con using concrete or um, pond liner and there's also some amazing creeks available from Universal Rocks. Um, this is a creek that we made by using flow ponds that float all the way down into the main pond down here which looks looks absolutely spectacular. Um, fountains are something else that you can put into your water features and the fountains um, especially if they're lit from underneath at night time just look spectacular. They have the advantage of aerating the pond and creating a beautiful feature. Lights are something you definitely want to utilise because what lights do is allow your pond to be a feature at night time not just during the day and under lighting your waterfalls just looks so beautiful it just looks like this silky water is flowing over the rocks I'm um, adding a bridge there's some um, Chinese styles Japanese styles um, formal bridges a bridge can really add to your um, feature um, and especially in circumstances like this where you basically open up that's the customers lounge room and the ponds right there next to the um, main living area and that bridge is actually um, just allows you to get over to your backyard and it is just a gorgeous feature in general when you are creating water features the closer they are to the house the more love they're probably going to receive there are also gla various glass features you can use like for example using a sheet of glass in the side of your pond gives the pond a whole new dimension then there are these fish bubbles and fish cylinders where the fish can actually swim up underneath giving the allowing the fish to pop right out of the, the out of their pond so another thing which is becoming quite popular is converting your old swimming pool you might have an old outer ground pool or an old in ground pool that you're not using is that you can easily just convert your swimming pool into a fish pond and I've got some great um, articles on my website which is majesticaquariums.com.au on how to do that it really is quite simple you've already spent the money on the big infrastructure so if you're not using your your pond your pool why not change it to a pond you probably find that you'll chuck goggles on it and use it more often anyway it's a natural eco non-chemical option 
So understanding the capacity of your pond is very important if you put too many fish in. More fish equals more work. Less fish equals less work. Smaller fish equal less work. Big fish equal more work. That's all there is to it. So the size of your pond, the bigger the pond, um, the less you have to do on it because the more stable it tends to be. Um, the location of the pond is important. We don't want it anywhere that leaves are going to sweep into it. Um, we want it somewhere that you're going to see it, so you're probably going to enjoy it more. Um, the types of fish are important. Some fish are cleaner than other fish. The quality and the amount of food is important to understand. Make sure you've got very good aeration on the top of the pond. Make sure you have a very good filter on the pond. Make sure the filter has a good UV steriliser. Make sure you never add tap water to the pond. It's very important that your pond, um, that you age any water using water ager. Before you put it in the pond, add a bit of carbonate powder and a bit of salt. And Bob's your uncle. So, ultimately, at the end of the day, if you do set up a beautiful water feature, especially one with fish, if it's not exactly what you want it to be, then pop down and see us here at Majestic Aquariums. Bring us a video of your water feature running and a sample of water so we can check on it and give you some advice. And if you want to learn more, then subscribe to this YouTube channel, which is Majestic Aquariums TV on YouTube. Um, it's got thousands of videos, lots of great information, and it's good fun.